Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you, love to everybody out there. Just a quick video um, concerning Mohammed Hijab and his speech at Hyde Park. I think that um, I've stuck up for Mohammed Hijab when he was attacked at the Tommy Robinson uh, March for Freedom. Um, but I have to say that Mohammed Hijab is being hypocritical um, when he's talking about free speech at uh, Hyde Park because over the last few years there has been a lot of bullying going on uh, at Hyde Park. There have been uh, bullying by the Dawa teams um, where they have completely hindered free speech. Um, you see the fact that the Dawa teams encourage Uncle Jamal to heckle people, the fact that Muslims will always start talking in front of Christian cameras, the fact that Christian women have, have been uh, swore at, the fact that there have been people who have actually experienced violence uh, from some Muslims and um, So there's a hypocr hypocrisy there and a double standard. There has been an iron grip of Islam down at Hyde Park over the last few years and that iron grip has sought to silence free speech in, in Hyde Park and has tried to stop Christians from having free speech. And Mohammed Hijab, never, I never heard a video of him speaking up for Sarah. I never heard him speak up for the Christian that got punched off his stepladder. I never heard him make a stand for Christian free speech when Christians are being bullied week in and week out, year in and year out. But I stuck up for Mohammed Hijab. I, I, I spoke up for his free speech. I spoke up for Ali Dawa's free speech. But I don't see the Muslims speaking up for the Christian free speech. I just see a lot of... Uh, I see a, a lot of double standards and hypocritical standards from the Dawa teams, especially down at Hyde Park. So, for example, uh, you can be debating a, a, a Muslim apologist, and it's guaranteed that at the end of the video it will get edited. That happened to me with an, an, a few of uh, the uh, Muslim apologies. Now they will say that they don't have control of these videos but they don't encourage people, the people who film, to be fair and honest. Um, I've seen people punched. I've been threatened while I've been down there. I've been... Uh, uh, I've seen people... I, I've actually had physical violence done to me. I had that a few weeks ago when I was down there. We saw it on video. We, we, you didn't see it on video, but a Muslim grabbed my hand and really, really squeezed it hard. And then he started swearing at uh, Hatu. Um, so I've been threatened when I was down there. Um, I've seen people punched. I've seen people kicked. So there has been intimidation. Uh, and the Islamic Dawa teams have never spoke up, never stood up for people's fr uh, Christian freedoms. Now, I have to put on record that the vast majority of Muslim people are wonderful people, and, and the vast majority of Muslim people down at Hyde Park that come are really good people. But there is a conspiracy of a small minority who were influenced by the Dawa teams that have consistently stifle free speech at Hyde Park and that's a fact and that bullying even continues to go on now towards Christians so Mohammed Hijab you're a nice guy but you're a bit of a hypocrite if you're not willing to stand up for those people who are being bullied and you've got to admit that your teams do a lot of bullying you bully Christians you always pick on Christians that don't know anything, that are coming on holiday, they don't know anything, and you, and, you, and you abuse them, you pick on them, 
you you don't pick on the Christian apologists. You don't debate Hatum on a regular basis. You don't debate the Christian debaters on a regular basis. Your Dawa teams, nine times out of ten, will abuse young Christians, and that is bullying. It's bullying. And you've been doing that for years, and it's not fair. So, you can make your little speech, but at the end of the day, it's hypocritical, Mohammed. Hey, chap. Alright, God bless.